We're making sure that we're not obligated to the inmate, that we're not dependent on the inmate. But that's why we're put in this position. We have to be better than them. Because if we don't respect ourselves, we can't expect the public to. Hey guys, doing today? It's Anthony Gange, your host of Tear Talk. Good question came my way. Gange, what happens when you're new booty and you're training and the head of training or management tells you not to trust the CEOs that you're working with? Not to trust the people I'm sending to train you. What would you do if somebody told you that? That is a very unique question. So I'm, I'm gonna need some help with this, guys. Definitely some people with experience commenting on this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. What would I do if management or the head of training told me not to trust the people that I'm working around, especially on my first day? Let's see. We'll find out when we come back from our sponsors. As always, guys, the show is Tear Talk for you brave men and women that work in corrections. So if you haven't, please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. That bell will notify you every time I post up a video. I stand by for our sponsors. I wanted to attend a university that had an intelligence program. I wanted to look at problems different. I wanted to increase my critical thinking abilities. AMU offered those avenues to expand. Obtaining your degree as an adult, you're actually paying yourself and investing in yourself. You can't put a dollar on it, it's priceless. It's something that can never be taken away from you. American Military University, learn from the leader. Thank you guys for listening to my sponsor. It's a very tough question, so I'm trying to picture myself being a rookie, and then one of the supervisors of training or management comes up and says, hey, you can't trust the people that you're working around. And my answer is gonna have a bit of bias experience, so hopefully you're able to take something from it. But if management or the supervisor of training was ever say, hey, you can't trust the people that you're working around, the first thing I would ask, and again, this is experience talking here, and I'm sure my people would agree, but feel free to comment, please, guys. This is a great question. I think it'd be great for you guys to take part in this. Is I would probably tell the person, be a little bit more specific, who can I trust? Because I'm vulnerable, guys. I'm looking to learn. I'm looking to create a foundation. So I don't know anybody. This is my first time on the job. So I want to know specifically who can I trust and what is it that they're doing. Again, if management's going to put it out there or the supervisor or training is going to put it out there, you can't put it out generally because you're sending me out to be trained. So again, I would be want more specifics, which again, very divisive. It's very, very divisive. Because if you're going to give this out generally, and then me as a rookie, I'm going to go out in the field and I'm looking to learn. Well, I don't know if the person that's trust me, he could be aces. He could be one of the best cops in the world, but I don't know that. So I don't know if I could trust the information that this person's given to me. So I'm going to wind up going back again to the trainer and saying, because I'm trying to figure this out as we go along is, but you're sending me to the people. So I'm also going to hold you responsible for who trains me. And if they're not good, I'm going to hold you responsible for that. And if I make bad choices, again, you should be held responsible because you're the one that sets up the training, which means that you can't be sending me to people that aren't fit to do the training. For you, so for you to send me out and say that I can't trust the people that I'm working around or that's going to be training, then I'm going to go back to you and say, well, then why are you sending me to, why, why are you, sending me to them? You know, I, I, would, I, would, I would toss that responsibility back at you, the trainer. But... And we'll kind of sum it up to a close here. If it does happen, because this person is actually going through it right now, the only advice I have at the moment, and maybe my people with experience could help me out there, is this person is just entering the field. So they don't know what it is to work this job. And they're kind of going in in an isolated manner, which means that they feel that they can't rely on anybody. And that's tough in correction because you have that blind trust. Remember, we're working on a job where we have to rely on people. If we don't rely on people, <laughs> it, it, it's scary. It's a blind trust that we have sometimes. But in this case here, I would tell the officer, whatever post you're going to, read those post orders, get an understanding of what the post expects you to do, what you're supposed to do on that post, and then compare it to who's training you. And if there's any questions that you have, because maybe this person is doing something a little bit differently, ask. See how they try to justify their response. And then see if there's a way that you can kind of figure out if what this person's doing is on the up and up. And that's why I have a channel like Tear Talk, because I'm giving you an outlet to ask any questions that you may have, especially as a new boo. So again, if you have concerns with the person that's training you, then ask it here. 
Ask it with someone that has experience so they can kind of guide you as to what's the right answer and what's the wrong answer. But I will say management telling you that or the head of uh, training telling you that, it's very divisive. It's very divisive, especially because he's telling you it in a general manner. Because he's telling you it in a general manner and you not having a good foundation, it's just bad news. But what's your thoughts, guys? I love your thoughts. Please, guys, comment, interact, engage. You know, hit that bell. You know, when you subscribe, hit that bell. That bell is going to notify you every time I post a video. As always, guys, stay safe. The show's Tear Talk. Whoa.